This video is part of our UNESCO series. It's going to showcase some of the most amazing UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Asia, a collection of the best Asian UNESCO cultural, historical and natural places on their list. Located in Thailand, the historic city of Ayutthaya was founded in 1350 and was the second capital of the Siamese Kingdom. During its heyday, it was one of the world's wealthiest and most cosmopolitan cities. It was strategically placed on an island for preventing attacks and seasonal flooding. However, the city was burned to the ground in 1767 by the Burmese army. The city was never rebuilt and today dozens of ruins remain. Wadi Rum is a 74,000 hectare property, a mixture of natural and cultural sites and is situated in southern Jordan near the border with Saudi Arabia. It features a varied desert landscape there's inscriptions and archaeological remains testifying to 12,000 years of human occupation and interaction with the natural environment. The combination of 25,000 rock carvings with 20,000 inscriptions trace the evolution of human thought and the early development of the alphabet. The Great Wall located in China is a total length of 20,000 kilometres. It was built from the 3rd century BC to the 17th century AD on the northern border of China. It is a great military defence project of successive Chinese empires. It stands as an awe-inspiring monument to the grandeur of Chinese ancient history. The volcanic islands of Komodo National Park are inhibited by a population of around 5,700 giant lizards. Komodo National Park is located in the centre of the Indonesian archipelago. The lizards have earned the name Komodo dragons due to their appearance and aggressive behaviours. These lizards exist nowhere else in the world and are of great scientific interest, especially for their evolutionary implications. If you're enjoying this video and already are feeling inspired to pack your suitcase and hop on a plane, then please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the videos to be seen by more people and enable us to make more great videos for you. Angkor in Cambodia is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. Angkor Wat is at the heart and soul of Cambodia and the national symbol. Surrounded by a moat, the temple is one of the most inspired monuments ever conceived. It is a source of fierce national pride and was never abandoned to the elements and has been in continuous use since it was built in the 12th century. The mountain railways of India consist of three railways. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, located in the foothills of the Himalayas in West Bengal, was the first and is still the most outstanding example of a hill passenger railway, opening in 1881. They are still fully operational as living examples of the engineering enterprise of the late 19th and early 20th century. Agosawara Islands consist of 30 islands clustered into three groups roughly 1,000 kilometres south of the main Japanese archipelago. The landscape is dominated by subtropical forests with hundreds of species of native plants and a habitat for more than 100 recorded native land snails. The islands serve as an outstanding example of ongoing evolutionary processes in oceanic island ecosystems. The magnificent Patala Palace has been the winter palace of the Dalai Lama since the 7th century, and was once the seat of the Tibetan government. It is a symbol of Tibetan Buddhism and its central role in the traditional administration of Tibet. It is built on Red Mountain in the centre of Lhasa Valley at an altitude of 3,700 metres. Halong Bay in the northeast of Vietnam is a scatter of islands, towering limestone pillars and tiny islets topped with forests, most of which are uninhabited and unaffected by humans. It is unsurprisingly Vietnam's number one tourist hub as it is a vision of ethereal beauty, but it also is complemented by its great biological interest. Located in Myanmar is the temple town of Bagan. The town features an exceptional range of Buddhist art and architecture and is a sacred landscape. The site includes numerous temples, monasteries, a place of pilgrimage, as well as sculptures. Despite being hit by many earthquakes over the centuries, work to repair the many 400 temples is still ongoing. The Sundarbans is one of the largest mangrove forests 
in the world, situated on the delta of the Ganges, Brahmarucha, and Meghna rivers on the Bay of Bengal. It's roughly shared 60-40 between Bangladesh and India. The star attraction is the Royal Bengal Tiger, but are extremely difficult to spot. However, there are a wide range of fauna, including 260 bird species and the threatened species such as crocodiles and Indian pythons. Babylon in Iraq, situated 85 kilometers south of Baghdad. It includes the ruins of the city, which between 626 and 539 BCE was the capital of the Neo-Babylonian Empire. It includes villages and agricultural areas surrounded by the ancient city. They are a unique testimony to one of the most influential empires of the ancient world. Over the last 500 years, the historic city of Malacca in Malaysia developed into one of Southeast Asia's greatest trading ports. The city has influences of Asia and Europe and has a specific multicultural heritage with government buildings, churches, squares and fortifications. Georgetown in Malacca represents the British era from the end of the 18th century. Kathmandu Valley, located in the footholds of the Himalayas, as Buddhism and Hinduism developed and changed over the centuries throughout Asia, both religions prospered in Nepal and produced powerful artistic and architectural fusion, beginning at least from the 5th century. In 2015, the earthquake destroyed several temples in Dunbar Square, but most areas emerged unscathed. Lahore Fort and Shalimar Gardens in Pakistan are two masterpieces from the time of the brilliant Mughal civilization, which reached its heights during the reign of the Emperor Shah Jahan. The Mughal civilization, a fusion of Islamic, Persian, Hindu, and Mongol sources, dominated the Indian subcontinent for several centuries. Hayensa Temple holds over 80,000 engraved Buddhist texts on wood blocks. Completed between 1237 and 1248, it makes it the most complete and largest Buddhist library of its kind. The buildings of Jangyong Pangjon, which date from the 15th century, were constructed to house the woodblocks. The sacred city of Kandy in Sri Lanka was the last capital of the Sinhala kings. They enabled the Danal culture to flourish for 2,500 years until the occupation of Sri Lanka by the British in 1815. It's also the site of the Temple of the Tooth Relic, a famous pilgrimage site with the sacred tooth of the Buddha. Bukhara, which is situated on the Silk Road in Uzbekistan, is more than 2,000 years old. It is the most complete example of a medieval city in Central Asia, with an urban fabric that has remained largely intact and many important monuments that survived from the early times and an impressive in its sombre elegance, best surviving example of 10th century architecture in the whole Muslim world. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more life-loving travel and real estate videos. See you next time on Globewise.